deconstruct. Oxifern goes there. Should be perfect. We got water, oxygen's inside. And then we could get the furniture. Oh, he's taking a dump. God damn it, man. All right, we wait for the pit. Oh, he's moving? Oh, I thought he was uh, planting the seed. So this one is okay. We could move the one Oxyfern in now. This is a pip, max priority. All right. So these rooms on the right side, very far from complete. Auto save lag. All right, and we got the wall toilet. Nice. This is almost done. I need the door to separate the room. And then technically I do want to get rid of that tile. All right, that's good. I can get rid of the ladder now. And then tile, tile. All right, so here Oxyphrin is in. Good stuff. So I should be able to just wrangle the pip. Go back outside. It's going to be this room that's ready. Yes. Waiting for the oxyfern. We'll plant that there. Sweet. These two. Now we got to go back into here. This is pretty much ready now. Nice. So here, here. Door. And wall toilet. And then once we're ready for that, we could put tiles here. We're deconstructing that so we could climb up still. This is going to be Pip. And then uh, one kilogram, so we only get one seed. And we want Oxifern. What? What the heck? I clicked it. Feels bad. Alright, so how is this room? The Pip is out. Good stuff. Going back into here, we are waiting for the Oxifern. Let's max out the priority. Left side, furniture. And we're good. So the seeds is there, we just gotta wait for the pit. So that's this room, that's that room. And we got this. Click better, yo man, it's tough. You must blast Carmeldicin. What What is that? Is that a different way of spelling caramel? I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Not familiar with what that is. Hey, there it is. And immediately we wrangle him. Mighty Stu's taking notes. Another Pip? Do I want this guy? I don't know if I want this guy. He's probably going to cause too many issues. He's going to cause too many issues, man. Alright, so the oxygen looks healthy. That's a good sign. Back to here. It's a song associated with online anime communities that's become a bit of a meme a few years ago. I, I don't know if this is weird. I know some anime songs. I just don't know any of the names. I've, I've always been like that, though. As a child, I've always enjoyed music. And it's not that I didn't care to learn the name, but I never thought about asking for the name of the song. I would just enjoy music if it's being played. So, <laughs> so, you know, there's a lot of songs that I just don't know the name of, but I know how it goes. And I feel like that's kind of carried over for like anime music. 
I don't know. I don't know what it was. This as a child, I was like, oh yeah, it's whatever. Oh, they took his oxifern. Oh, that's mad rude, dude. They robbed this little guy. Nah, we're at the building another, another bin right there. That one's planted. Okay, so we just got to do that last one. This room is waiting. And we'll have to set up this room. Is that weird, Matt? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I didn't do liquid pipes. Okay, that's actually important. One, two, three. And we get that there. Critter drop off and a bin. All right, so we get the seed. Oxifer, nice, nice. What's what song is that? Deep fried peanut butter? Like for which anime? Outro, intro. A meme version, a memed on anime song. The one that kind of comes to mind is Demon Slayer, where it's a cliffhanger and something crazy happens and then the scene immediately freezes and it's just playing that song. That's like the only song that kind of fits that like description. Holy shit. Y'all hear that? Mamba got scared the shit out. It still got fireworks, man. You see Mamba right now, man? He just he just went and just ducked like holy shit. Dude, he got scared, man. He got scared. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. And, yo, Mamba got scared right now. Feels bad, man. He's okay, he's okay. I think it's from an anime. It's just really popular electronic dance song for the community. Oh, okay, okay. Isn't that the dance to beat, wave your hands together, come feel the something forever and ever? That meme? Geek probably has it. It it sounds like it fits the description. But yeah, I've uh, I've never seen it. That's how I. That's how in tune I am with anime community. Oh, dude, that we have that over here constantly too, man. It sucks. They don't think it be like it is, man, but it do. They do be like that sometimes. Cthulhu. I play that all year long, dude. They actually light fireworks where I live all year long. It's just on 4th of July, it's a little bit more extravagant. That's it. But that thing sucks. Because it's always that kind of game. Okay. Off to bed, have a good night. Thank you for being here, more decks. Hope you have a good night of rest. And we'll see you next time, man. Rest wall, rest easy. Alright, alright. So this needs to go like that. Dude, setting up individual rooms is kind of tedious. But at the same time, it is what it is. At least I could do it fast now. <laughs> That's the only thing about it. I could do it fast. 
Because I'm getting used to it. This is ready. Oh, someone's taking a dump already. Oxyphern is in. Let's go. So deconstruct, deconstruct. We'll wait for that to happen. This is done. This is done. Nice. So then we're going to have six rooms ready. Nice. This is the next one up. So this is the Rango location. We will drop the seed. And then go back to here. Nice. All right, so that's ready. This one is almost. We'll set that up. And then once that's done, we could build everything else. Oh, I need the uh, wall toilet here. Here, here, build that. Pip, pip, squeak. One, and we'll wait. Bird kitty. Oh, the, the, he's back. He's back on the beds. Mamba's done being scared. He's no longer gonna play your games. He's gonna be a brave kitty cat. Get the iron ore. Have that over there. I do need this deconstructed and this deconstructed. Alright. He's a braver kitty cat than I am. Oh, there it is. This is priority nine. Naps greater than fear. Yo, man. Comfort greater than fear. <laughs> Yo, man. That, that, that's what it is. Mob's just comfy. He's got, he has a spot that he wants to uh, chill out on. Y'all ever have, like, the chair that's, like, you sit in every time? To the point where it kind of has like, a groove for your butt to fit in perfectly? That's kind of what it is for Mamba, man. He has, he has this little carve-out spot right now. And he's a fan of it, so... You know, he's, he's trying to get it back. He wants to go back right inside. We should get him some arrows, and a bow, and a red wig. Mamba! He's gonna cosplay as as a, as a girl. You know, Mamba's a boy, right? <laughs> you know, Mamba's a boy. You're gonna make him cosplay as a girl. Feels weird, man. Why don't you fluff his pillow? Yeah, yeah, but but it's like, ah, oh, man. Cosplaying as a girl. I guess that does happen sometimes. They have they have these weird rules in anime and cartoons. Cosplay. I got I gotta I gotta enunciate the S man. You know how it be. The enunciations. I oh, don't know man. I'm just not a fan. This is... That should be good. Oh, and I need the wall toilet. And... Pipelines. Let's go. Alright, so... Carpet tiles. Four... We go like that. We go with the piping. Auto save lag. What's going on, Addy Rocks? How are you? Hey, Tulujitamamba, how are you guys? 
doing all right. You know, we here, just playing some Oni, taking it slow, taking it a day at a time, just trying to do our best. Hopefully you're doing well though, Addy Rocks. How are you today? Oops. This is next. Priority nine. And the pips are selected. Nice. So this is ready, right? Wrangle this guy. And then this one will be the one after. We need a deconstruct here, which is fair. Critter drop off and a bin. Nice. Oh, he's going through. Come on, just grab the seed. Just grab the seed, dude. It's right there. Come on, you're standing on the seed. I hope he's got this. I hope he's got this. <laughs> I'm building everything else already. I'm good. Came to stream after a long time. I wish I could watch more, but timings are very odd for me. Gotcha, Addy Rocks. Feels bad, man. Means we're going to have another viewer that we meet that we'll never be able to see again. Feels bad. Oh, uh, this guy just taking a dump in the rocket? You gotta stop doing that, man. You gotta stop doing that. Alright, so this one's ready. And the pip is there. He's good. Alright, so that means this one. Just use the door to make them stop. Yeah, it should be fine. Because what I'm planning to do is just assigning the bathroom once it's ready. So, anyone in chat that has a duplicate in the colony that wants a house, let me know. We'll hook you guys up. Am I in this colony? You are, Ace Cow. You are in this colony indeed. What does the pip do in the housing module? The pip plants the oxifern onto the natural tile that we have right here. I see you over there. The houses are all the same, man. The houses are all the same. All right, Ace Cal. Get you the comfy bed. Give you the private bathroom. And we got the question. We could give you a private meal hall by enclosing this space so you get your own space to eat. Oh, yeah, there's wallpaper. I forgot about that. So the, the first option I got to ask, do you want to eat alone? If not, you eat in the cafeteria with everyone else. So it's up to you. Do you want to eat alone? Or would you want to eat in the cafeteria? I eat with the homies. Okay, we got you. So you're probably going to want the similar setup to what uh, Cthulhu and uh, Geek has. So we give you a pedestal and the portrait canvas. Wait, was that even his room? It is. Okay, cool. We gotta brag about the house. I see you over there, man. Wait, this is... Oh, I didn't give Cthulhu the bed. <laughs> he was taking a dump here, but he wasn't living inside the house. I got to make sure that happens here. So this is Geek's bed, Geek's toilet. Cool, cool. They're welcome to come over for tea. I see you over there. All right, all right. We got the three of you guys in. We got three of you guys in. We can actually get more people in if there's anyone in chat that also wants in. I'll take the Sweetle. That's actually worthwhile. And sweep the coal. 
start sweeping that. There's a lot of items I need to sweep that I haven't yet. And I might as well start. Since we have idleness anyways. Alright, so these two are gone. No longer needed. And this is good. This is good. Now we'll go to the last three. That needs to be done. Left side, one kilogram. Hip and oxyfern. I hope I have enough seeds, man. <laughs> I think I do. Barely enough. So the house, do you get a garden? You get potted plants on the outside so that's your garden technically we're gonna have joyas on the uh, very edge and then inside we can put some hanging flower pots if that's what you would like Ooh, yeah man that happens don't kick your bedpost that stuff is solid that stuff is solid man How do you know it was my bedpost? Everything else has enough give that it doesn't hurt bad enough that you would talk about it. That's honestly the truth. I look around in my room and I'm like, there's nothing I would kick that would hurt me hard enough that I would type about it in Twitch chat. So because of that, you, uh... That's like the only thing. I can't imagine anything else. I like to live in the colony. So Addy rocks. I, I, that was, if you want to join the colony, I'm actually sorry to say this, but you can't join anymore. The, the colony is taken already. Like I was asking if anyone that has a duplicate in here. That, you know, if they want to move from the barracks into a house. Because my, my colony is maxed out. <laughs> My colony is maxed. Yeah, there's no vacancy right now. I'm sorry about that, Addy Rocks. I can't bop someone else to give you a, a dupe. And they spent points for that. And if you do want to join the colony, it costs channel points. The thing is, though, is that we're maxed out and there is a queue. So there's people already waiting for the next set of dupes as well. So that's the thing about that that kind of sucks. You should have a no vacancy sign up. Oh, that's smart. Maybe we could do that. Is this ready? It is. Yeah. So here, here, here. Go back. This is next. So we could go these two. This goes here. That's get deconstructed. Looks good. Not bad. This needs to face the left. I need to get a statue here. With one letter that doesn't light up. Oh man, that's too much work, man. This is cool. Need to make sure all the rooms are set up properly. Oh, this one doesn't have a bed yet. And I need to sweep the oxyfern. Outside of that, I need to get my statues in here. And then we go to this one. This one is actually done done. Yep. And then this one needs a bed. Bed's up top, feels bad. All right, so this one was good. Yeah, there was a bed. That one we just set up. They get the statues and the bed. Cool. So now over here, this is ready. This is also ready. Dude, are these all ready? Holy crap. This one needs a bed. That's fine. And then my statues. 
I remember when I was part of your colonies back in the day, before Spaced Out. Yeah, that was a long, long time ago, Addy Rocks. Long, long time ago. I actually don't have my old saves anymore. It feels bad. And that's because uh, I had I had a corrupted hard drive, and I couldn't move that over. I'm about 1.4k cycles in and didn't fly out to space. How bad am I? Does that even mean you're bad? Because when you don't fly out into space, it just means that you're playing with limited resources. Doesn't that make that more difficult? Just saying. I'm just saying, X-Cage. You could argue that's that's a type of challenge run or something. Yeah, I mean, what can you do? You get a corrupted file. I mean, not a corrupted file. You get a corrupted hard drive. And I wasn't able to migrate everything over uh, safely. It'd be like that sometimes, though. Make sure to back up your hard drives, you guys. Otherwise, it's a bad time. Oh, got one of those gotta be perfect? Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I see you with that. Where does this polluted oxygen come from? That's rude. Where does this polluted oxygen come from? Oh, my O2 levels are actually getting kind of low again. Oh, it's because I'm out of sand. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Seven tons. That's actually a good amount. All right. We got to crush ceramic to sand. And keep on making ceramic. Water sieve, maybe. There is this right here as well. That little cloud in the back. It's just randomly spreading out. It's like I have something that's on the ground somewhere that's not getting picked up. Which probably has to be pea dirt, huh? Maybe. Alright, I'll actually have that on. So we're going to have to kick these on again. That's going to consume a lot of sand, but it should be alright. So here it's planted, wrangle. Second one, nine, uh, here, priority nine, one, and ox fern. All right, good stuff. Almost done with the housing. So I do want to start, hmm, I think I'm just gonna move people, man. I think we're just gonna move people. All right, so this house is ready. We're gonna give it to Uglar Visk. So he's gonna have his own room. We'll see if he wants to move in or not, or eat with the other people or not. This one could be Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider has his own room. And then this one is going to be Tanit. Why not? We'll go just go bottom up. Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow, and he eats alone. That's so sad, though. That's so sad. <laughs> All right, that means we'll give them the most inside setup. He's gonna get slightly different room then. How big does the room have to be for a mess hall? 12 tiles, I don't get that. <laughs> he actually doesn't get that, oh that sucks. Well, it is what it is. I can't get telephones. I can't get telephones because there's no way for me to actually put power. 
there's no way for me to put powers into here. Now, you might be thinking, just use the power outlet fitting. That doesn't work. Because this only works if you have a way to connect to a battery. So, I would have to have a battery either above or below my space for a module connected to it. Because this building has no power outlets. So I can't attach power to the inside unless I redo the entire thing, which is probably not going to happen. You could put it in for the visual. Yeah, but, it, but, but it's going to have floating icons. Feels weird, man. Well, for the most part, I'm letting the people kind of just decorate the rooms, too. So, unless they ask for it, I'm not going to put it in. Decon some of the ceiling. Yeah, we could. No more icons. Yeah, I, I don't want to play without icons, though. I, I kind of like keeping the icons on. Oh, you guys are not fans of that? Yo, man, feels bad. No more UI? Screenshot mode? Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Mr. Arrow Capital Fuck. He eats alone now, and he doesn't get the morale bonus. Feels bad. I like to use suppress notifications for work orders. I have one forever because those are annoying. Yes, that one. Oh, that one is suppress notifications or for infinite storage vents. Okay. But infinite storage vents would never have an issue. Right? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I get the point, though. I get the point. I see you guys over there. I do not suppress notifications. But I see you guys over there. It can be nice, it can be nice. I see you guys, I see you guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That can happen. Small storages, I see you, I see you. Alright, so... Cyberdyne? He's, he's sacrificed enough? Oh, you don't like the icons, like the red icon right here. I see you, I see you. Oh, Clash? He randomly claimed the comfy bed. Okay, we'll give him this room then. Then we have this place. Oh, no bed. And then no statue. And then, does this have anything? Cool. And then the last room. Oh, there's no critter drop off. So there's no way for me to uh, move the pip into here yet. Feels bad. Hopefully no one's wrangled them already. Pick them up. And he's leaving with the pip. Feels bad. Ah, crap. Okay. We're gonna have to move one of the pips back in.
That should be alright though. Okay. So there's no more wild bit, I'm assuming. We're probably gonna pull one from the middle floor. Seven years old, that's fine. Yeah, man, he yoinked it, dude. This guy was smart. Alright, top down, we'll give it to Coop and Hammond. And then we got... Poetic Artist. And this is one we can't do anything yet. That's fine. That goes into here. One... Oxyfern. Deconstruct that. And we get a granite. Nice. Legit, do you have a NVMe M2 in your PC? Hard drive is slow compared to SSD? I do have a SSD. Wait, so what's the question? <laughs> like, like, Sanry, what's the question? I, I do have a SSD, yes. A NVMe M2. So, depending on what it is you're trying to do, if you're rich, you can just use all SSDs, but yeah, I uh, have a combination of both. Yeah, I, yeah, all of my SSDs are connected directly to the motherboard. All of my SSDs. <laughs> It's not a USB 3.01, no. I don't like using USB SSDs. It feels like I'm self-throttling. Even though they claim that it's not. Of course it is. For that exact reason, you just explained. It's a lot faster than hard drives. So... Usually, what people do is when you have an SSD drive, they put their Windows on it, and then they put all of their other games on the hard drives. Unless the game benefits from not having it on a hard drive, or, or, uh, or unless it benefits for having it on an SSD. Because I have a four terabyte a uh, regular hard drive that I download and put my VODs into because I need the space. And it's cheaper to, for me to get that. Like a four terabyte hard drive is like, what, 40 bucks? It's pretty cheap. Compared to a uh, four terabyte SSD, which is like 200, $300, right? So because I just need to have it in storage in case I need to tap into it again, I put it on regular hard drive. So you just have to make sure how you set that up. Let me check. I'm not sure. I have to move some files around because of my failed hard drive. No. Wait, no. Yeah. My Oni is on an SSD. This game is. This game is saved to my solid state drive. All right. It's yeah, it's, it's about the same. Although they do say NVMEs are better. It's it's very marginal the difference between the two. That's why you save fast and load fast your own game. Really? Is it slow for you guys? Like, I know that's why you save fast and load fast. But I didn't know it was slow for you guys. I thought it was the speed for everyone was like that. I didn't really think about it. Because the thing is, is that... Yeah. 
I kind of attributed it to the update. Because the update uh, sped up the load and save times. So I thought it was 100% just because of that. Oh, this guy's hungry again. Send him back home. NVMEs can be 20 times faster. Damn. They're talking about 2 to 4 x as fast as a SATA drive. Due to SATA drive. What about a, a Velociraptor? <laughs> 10,000 RPM hard drive. Before SSDs came out, dude. Oh, I had one of those. Uh... So, the so the, the funny thing is, is that none of those numbers matter, Sandraith. You need to look actually into the model spec. You could actually get a 2080 that's stronger than a 3050. I'm just saying. Like, you, you can't look at just the model. You gotta look at the actual specs of your GPU. Because a lot of the times, a lot of people think the higher number is better. And that's not the case. So, you would probably want to look at how much memory your GPU has. That's going to be the biggest component. Typically, it's going to be in intervals of 2 gigabytes, so it's a 2468. Uh, I don't know if there's a 10 gig GPU yet. Does anyone know about that? That'd be really strong. But the more memory your GPU has, the better it's going to be. Uh, that's a good rule of thumb. Unless you want to really dive into the specifics, you're probably going to want to look at benchmarks. Yo, Zao Maus? Hey, legit. Are this playthrough you actually do on YouTube? I, too, speak English. And I understand what that meant. So I'm going to assume you're asking if I'm going to upload this playthrough on the YouTubes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So everything leading up to today's playthrough is already on the YouTube. So I have to wait a day because I can't upload immediately because of Twitch TOS. Yo, finally off of work. Yeah, I used G Money. Nice, nice. So G Money, I got to ask, how do you feel about your... Your, your team trading for KD, man. HDD is noisy sometimes. They can't be. Random would have the same difference depends on the brand. Those are sequential. But uh, best SSDs can saturate SATA, which would be 550 MPPS. And these could be 7,000. It depends on the brand. Some can get up, some don't. That makes sense. It's not, it's not like they all work the same. <laughs> It's usually not the case. But yo, G Money, how you feeling, man? What is good? All right. So now that the housing is set up, and I have twelve here, and then four here, that's sixteen. So I could actually dedicate this room into a recreational room now. Which I think we'll do. G Money, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? That trade is actually not possible without Golden State giving up either Steph Curry or Clay Thompson. Did you know that? That trade isn't possible unless you include one of those two guys. KD requesting a trade is crazy. It is, man. It is. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Soda Fountain Time. See, the thing is, is that I, 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 I sent all my CO2 up here. Damn it, man. I could have just gave you guys coffee. Maybe Soda Fountain. I am thinking about that. Addy rocks. What's going on, Lupswork? How are you? How was the Tuesdays, man? So you overclock your CPU processor because it's a 9600K. And it's overclockable. The Ryzen with X is already overclocked. Uh, so typically, you could overclock it more. So that's, that's the funny thing about that. 
So when you overclock something, it's not like you just press a button and then you can't overclock it anymore. Overclocking is literally you manually setting up the settings. So if the Ryzen is already overclocked, you could overclock it more. And the only difference is power consumption and heat generated. So all you have to do is keep it cool. Because if it gets hot and it stays hot, the problem you run into is called hair, uh, wear and tear. Wear and tear happens when you have something operating at max capacity because um, you're overclocking it so much. Now, a lot of the times that comes from either overworking it. So like, you know, mining Bitcoin with your GPUs and you're just constantly mining or from heat. So you let it stay hot for too long and it starts to take damage. So a lot of the times you're going to want to cool that down. And so the Ryzen that you get, that's probably overclocked already. It's probably designed in a way that the heat sink that comes with it probably means that it's going to handle by itself and you don't need to get any additional cooling. However, if you do get better cooling, that's going to be stronger than what is the standard heat sink that's typically comes with it. You can probably overclock it a little bit more. A lot of the times you just got to understand the thresholds of how far you could push it and the capabilities of your setup. Sometimes you might not have enough power supply. Sometimes you might be running a dual SLI. That was making a comeback, man. You guys remember that? Dual SLI 1080s. It's, it's wild. Yeah, my, my, over, my CPU is overclocked, 100%. Looks like I missed a lot of updates. Nice dupe housing. Thank you, Love's Word. Dude, check out the YouTubes of Love's Word if you haven't seen. We have a YouTube channel now. And you can check out our old playthroughs, the VODs, any of the YouTube content I've been making. And, uh, yeah. Dude, if you missed out, it's on the YouTubes. Hey, too legit. Just wanted to stop and say thanks for being our friend before bed. Hey, what's going on, Mixie? Hope you're doing well. If you're going to bed, rest well, rest easy. I know it's late over there. Thank you for popping in, though. But, uh, hey, hope you're doing well, Mixie. I don't know, man. There's a, there's a lot of people that are claiming that the Nets are not going to treat either of them. and just going to let them walk. And they're saying, F this. And, you know, they're just signing players and not trading. I don't know who... I think it's a leverage move, to be honest. But we'll have to see what the Nets do, man. If you don't overclock Ks, they boost a lot higher than regular ones. Like I said, if Kyrie goes to the Lakers, I'll never watch the NBA again. <laughs> what if he does it next year when he's a free agent? So you're playing without mods? Exclamation point only mods? I could actually type it out. I'm using this list of mods. I'm good, but you my guy had to say it. Gotcha, gotcha. Mixie, you tired. Go to bed. <laughs> we'll see you next time, Mixie. Rest all, rest easy. I have the aftermarket tower cooler for my CPU. Is that enough or do I need to look for a cooler? You can't ask me that. I don't do the individual testing on the benchmarks. You have to look up... Uh, like a, a website, something like Tom's Hardware, where they actually test that out because I can't tell you that. I don't want to give you bad information because I know enough about how to do it, but not individual setups like that. Like, oh, if I use an aftermarket heatsink that's not liquid cooling AIO, is that going to be enough? I actually don't know. What does Fix Camera Pan 2 exactly? It's a great mod. So Fix Camera Pan, if you didn't know, anytime you're moving your camera like this, you're panning your camera. And what the game does is every time you're moving, it's simulating all the calculations as you're moving the camera. So you get a little bit of lag or drag on moving the camera. So by using Fix Camera Pan, it redoes how your camera movements work and it reduces the calculations that happen in the background. So when you run fixed camera pad mod, it feels less laggy. That's all it does. This camera movement, when it's laggy, makes it less laggy. Did you know Kyrie's only 30? Did you know Anthony Davis played more games than both Kawhi Leonard and Paul George since everyone got traded to LA? And they still shit on my boy AD, man. That's not cool. Night fam, am all pillow is shouting at me. Have a good one, Mixie. We'll see you next time. You don't need a website. You can't know the quality of silicone to actually advise. That's that's probably true. A lot of the times, it's, you go to the website so you could look at if they use a similar setup as you do. That's a, a lot of the times. 
the popular strategy. You get the most popular AIO system, and then that's probably what they're gonna use as well, and then it's like, it's comparable. But yeah, that's, it's true. You, you, there's no perfect, there's no perfect advice. Because not everyone's gonna be able to break, not, not actually, very few people are gonna be able to break it down in a way that it could apply to your setup, even if the models don't match. That's actually true. That's actually gonna be pretty tough. You overclock and run stability thermal test for 34 hours. Yeah, I, I, I did that X cage. But a lot of the times, if you don't know what you're doing, those stability tests could be the exact reason why you burn your card. That's the funny thing. The stability test is the most dangerous part. Because you're just trying to run it so that you don't run into a power issue, a heat issue, a... Uh, what else is there? That it's, you know, doesn't peak out, auto shut off, things like that. And man, it's... Um, a lot of the times, man, if you do something wrong, that's, that's where it fails. Sounds like a good mod. I'll get it. Yeah, man, I'd recommend it. True, but a research before investing is good. Always before buying yeah legit why don't you use the sand method flower vase for the weeds wart so it doesn't need labor fertilizing where is that where's my weeds warts man oh you're talking about here it's i'm lazy to set that up man it's such a pain and for the most part if i don't utilize phosphorus to feed or phosphorite to feed my weezwort i don't use it for anything right what do you use this for you make medicine you make fertilizer you feed the pinch of pepper nuts you feed the weezworts i'm not going to do any of the shine bugs so at the same time i'm just going to be stacking up the material and it's better for me to feed it so that i could get rid of it to be honest Hey man, he's, he's played more games than Kawhi Leonard or Paw George. Air versus water, depends on ambient and load. Yep. Well, I'd say if your first time, you don't need to overclock at all. The difference, especially on newer silicone chips, is not worth the risk. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I would say the same. When you're in a position to overclock something, it usually means that, you know, you're trying to get the more juice out of it, which is, which is fine, but... If you are new and inexperienced with it, yeah, I would recommend that as well. To, uh, probably, unless you know what you're doing, or have a friend that knows what you're doing to help out, it's, uh, dude, don't break anything. <laughs> it's one of those things that's like, it might be kind of scary. Alright, alright. So, so far everything is good. We have the bathroom water coming back in. We're adding more water in case the water leaves, and that's proper because we dump the water after pooping in the space toilets, so we don't recycle that. We gotta have clean water for the people. Y'all know what it is. And it's not bad. We got the housing for it. All right, so I did want a rec room, but I probably won't do that today. And instead, we'll start setting up this. So, how much steel do I have? Because in order for me to do this properly, I'm going to need a lot of steel. Mamba's awake. Five tons, that's not a lot. Alright, so we'll probably want to set up the metal refinery right here. So, I wouldn't mind this. Having it right on the edge. Because it's like right by the liquid log makes a lot of sense. The pre-built PC sucks is as expensive, and the thing inside suck. Custom build is best for the buck. 100%. 100%. Pre-built PCs are for people that don't know how to build a PC. And that's literally the price you pay. Since you don't know the pieces that are going in, you don't know that you're buying a bad setup. Because if you know about the pieces that are going in, you would avoid it from the get-go. <laughs> that's the crazy thing about about the PCs, man. And not only is custom is pre-built PCs bad, they also fill your hard drive with a lot of bloatware. You're going to have like an antivirus. You're going to have all these programs on there for no reason that you don't need, but they added it on because, oh, it's a bonus. We gave it to you. 
You paid for this. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, but all of this is useless. I don't need McAfee, dude. Antivirus. That stuff is kind of bad. I don't need Norton. Like, I don't need none of those things, you know? So it's like, yeah, I, I avoid that, man, if I, if, if I were you. <laughs> All right, so metal refinery. This is a, this is a weird setup. Now. I so hate all the bloatware, 100%. The worst thing is when they don't tell you it's installed and it's just sitting in the background, dude. That's the worst. Even if it's free, you don't want it. We're at the point in time where we could look up numbers, CPU, GPU, uh, but they have no idea about motherboard memory and disk inside. That's true. There's a lot of benchmarks for both the CPU and GPU, but unless you build your own PC, you don't understand the benefits of like having a motherboard with extra slots. They might be looking at it as, oh, there's only one PCI Express and one uh, PCI 3.0. It's fine. <laughs> and they're like, oh, I can't add anything to my computer anymore because all the, all the slots are filled. Oh, there's only two RAM slots. That's fine. I, I, I want a mid tower anyways. <laughs> and it's like, well, shit, man. Now you got to pay for the expensive RAM. You can't get four of the uh, four gigs. You got to get two of the eight gigs. Things like that. It's 100% true. People don't know about DDR and the difference between DDR and the megahertz uh, attached to that. So like people will be like, oh, the, the difference between this is 50 bucks, but the 50 bucks more expensive one is actually uh, 600 megahertz more. And like, I don't even know what that means. It's the same amount of gigs. So I'm just going to get the cheaper one. <laughs> and it's like, oh man, they're shooting themselves in the foot constantly. AD is an easy target. He should be better than what he is. 100%. I agree with that. He might have gotten a little bit complacent. Did you know you're the most popular Oni streamer? That's not true. I know some other streamers that if they choose to stream Oni, they would be bigger than I am. They also try to sell you unnecessary warranty. Yeah, the warranty stuff is garbage, man. Warranty stuff is garbage. You don't need none of that a lot of the times. All right, so metal refinery. If I use oil, the lowest the temperature will ever be in here is what? I think I could get to 300 degrees, but I don't want that, right? So we're going to have to keep this lower. Okay, you're the most consistent Oni streamer. That's that's true. I do stream this very regularly and for a long time. Alright, so I will need a reservoir made out of steel. There's no way around that. Can you not flip the metal refinery? Oh, you can't. On some days, I also stream cities. Alright, that's fine. So, what we're probably going to do is, this comes into here. Wait, 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 wait. I need two reservoirs. I actually need two reservoirs. Can I have them side by side? I have space above, so it should be fine. If this actually overheats, it needs to be made out of steel then. Words on stream streamer? Dude, I saw someone, dude, at level 50. I, I, I was like, I don't even know, dude. How the hell did you get to level 50? I was mad confused. I, dude, level 50? These motherfuckers not messing around, man. <laughs> like, that's impressive. Other day I caught him playing the Hexagon game. Sometimes you gotta chill, dude. Sometimes it's all about being chill. Alright, so this is always gonna be cooled down, and I always take the liquid out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for that setup, I need a steel liquid shutoff. Probably here. This makes the most sense, to be honest. And then this goes into here. Now, honestly, this is way too much looping, potentially. 
but I think it probably has to be done. So, oh, oh, aluminum. I don't have enough. All right, we're going to meme and just use a regular pipeline for now. All right, since it's like that, we're going to do this and we're going to break this setup. And then this flows that way. And then... Oh! Ha! Huh. This would be like this. Wait, but I need this to be priority. Wait, what? How does that work? I've been in one that got to level 800. What? That's post 800? That's gotta be hacking, man. That's temporary, Addy Rock. So we're gonna eventually replace this with radiant piping. I'm just trying to get the build in. I'm wondering why GPUs have many brands, but the same NVIDIA GeForce. Uh, so it's the same thing between AMD and Intel. That's it. Sanray, that's the best way for me to describe it. It's the same thing between AMD and Intel for CPUs. That's the best way to describe it. Hey, babies. I hear you, Mamba. Twelve hours or more? Jesus Christ. That's that's really insane. Not gonna lie. Oh, I got an idea. So we do it like this. Hey, that works. Okay. So we do it like this. Oh, what a setup. Hey, that works. So this becomes priority, and then this yields. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then we replace everything else with radiant piping, and then we have a thermal pipeline sensor here. The only thing is this is really large. And I feel like a lot of the times, I'm not going to need this much loops. So I'm actually going to cut it off from here. And make this shorter. Because this is a long time for them to be in radiant pipe mode. And I feel that at a certain point, they're just going to come back in. At like, man. I think it's going to be 150. Is going to be the low temp point that I'm willing to allow that to leak out. So we always have this leak out into here. And then this loops to cool down in the steam turbine. And then we do a temperature check to have that pipe back in it as fuel. And if it's not, it re-loops again until it's cool enough. This is small map. This is with the DLC. Stand rate, DLC start. Once you get past some level words, doesn't get any harder. It just takes a long time. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I did hear that they repeat levels. So if you play long enough, you just memorize everything. I heard about that being a thing. Alright. So it looks like we gotta make a lot of aluminum. Which is fine. We just don't have enough water to pull that off yet. Ethanol is still not produced enough to be positive. Yeah, we're running out of lumber again. Feels bad. All right, we got to plant the trees. We got to plant the trees. All right, I might want to grow trees properly. Feels weird, man. Rocket tree. Researcher. Why couldn't you guys combine? I don't like pufflets. I'm going to delete them. All right, what do you need for arbor trees? We got to feed them pea water and dirt. That's actually probably fine, because I could probably get away from uh, mealwood. Not only that, the pips are there, giving me dirt. I'm thinking, well, hmm. What's the temperature range? 15 to 40. That's actually where my water's coming out, 20 degrees. I could actually grow 
a little bit of Arbitrage via Hydroponic Tiles. That's probably not too bad. That's honestly probably not too bad. Well, we gotta finish growing this first. Alright, he got it in. Should be alright, should be alright. So we don't have enough materials for the radiant piping, that's unfortunate. You hate to see that kind of thing happen. There it is. Dude, these pips are fast, man. Finding the uh, arbory coins quick. It's like, they know I need wood or something. I think they know. They know I need the wood. Alright, still negative. This is minus 10 as well, right? Yep. So, yeah. We just kind of have to have... I should probably send the toilet water back into here, man. Real talk. Oh, I could probably do that. That's probably really good. I'm going to make a temporary line. That actually works. Holy crap. I'm actually going to make a temporary line. So that we could use the water that's stockpiled inside the liquid reservoirs right here. That's coming from the bathrooms. To use in the metal refinery. Just so that we could smelt some more items. And then, oh yeah, they're not delivering dirt over here. Because these are low priority. So I need to make this allow manual use sweep only and then dirt is that organic what's dirt cultivate the area i was like what the hell all right so dirt that's not a lot 23 tons i'm sweeping that we're just gonna have a sweep command and always gonna sweep to that and then they're going to drop that off at the receptacle and the auto sweeper should be able to use that to sweep into here. How come no one's doing this? It's max priority. What a struggle. Mamba's missing. Oh, he jumped off the bed. He is awakened from his nap, Belfit Joe. Sorry, man, you missed him. You missed the Mamba today. He might jump back on, though, now that uh, he's awoken a little bit. Got the dirt. How are you doing today, Belfit Joe? How was the Tuesdays? What traits or type of world did you select for the save? I didn't select one. Well, no, that's that's not true. I selected uh, the forced start. So you start on the Folia asteroid with plenty of organic material, but duplicates will have to venture outside the starting biome to quickly find any metal. I d 20 the world traits. I got slime molds, metallic caves, and small boulders. But uh, yeah, we uh, hit the dice button a couple times randomly. Your cat wakes up. Yeah, man. Mamba has to... Uh, you know, you know Batman, he, he sits pretty during the day, but as the sun sets, he's got to get to work. If you know what I'm saying. So yeah, the Mamba, he's, he's, he's doing his thing, man. He's prowling the windows, making sure no one's on his territory. I don't even think mine wakes up to eat, man. That reminds me of the episode of The, uh, the Office. Where Kevin goes to work and he's like, oh man, you would love my dog. She never moves. She's like the best dog ever. She just sits in one place and, you know, sometimes she doesn't even get up for the whole day. And then everyone's looking at Kevin like, dude, your dog's dead. Holy shit. And someone asks, does, does your dog smell? I'm like, oh yeah, she smells horrible. It's like she hasn't taken a bath in forever. But she doesn't like taking a bath. Like, she just just lays there all day. <laughs> and then there's a clip of him interacting with the, with the dog. And the dog's alive. Just a very lazy dog. 
<laughs> Everyone was worried for Kevin though. They were like, oh man, the dog's dead, feels bad. Someone needs to tell him the truth. All right, 330 divided by five, 66. Dude, you guys seen that episode, right? You guys know what I'm talking about? The Office? Yo, man. Watch out, Belfitjo. You gotta take him to the vet or something. I just hope, I just hope he's alright. Alright, so I could do this. And then I would do this. And then I would cut this pipe. Max that out. Hit the reset button. Great episode. Dude, you know what episode I felt bad for Kevin? The episode where he spilled his chili. And he's frantically like trying to scoop it back in and then he just kind of gives up. And he's like, the trick is you gotta undercook the onions. And then BAM! He spills that shit everywhere and it's like, damn, feels bad man. That was a sad episode, man. See all that chili go to waste? I love chili, man. I'm a sucker for chili. Like, I want to say... Chili cheese fries is probably like... Great meal, dude. You get cheese, you get chili. There's protein in it. You get potatoes, deep fried. Just a great mix. If you want vegetables, put it in the chili. Let it dissolve. <laughs> it's, it's technically still vegetables, right? Even if it's just mixed in. Chili cheese tots. That's pretty good too. That's pretty good. Alright. So I don't want to vacuum this area yet. I'm just trying to prep it up for all the things that we would like. So I'm not going to build a polymer press. Because I got glossy dracos, right? So the poly press is never going to be needed. I probably do want to put my glass for. Ooh, this is a great question. If I put the glass forge in here, <laughs> if I put the glass forge in here, the th this does th this bot me? I'm a little bit curious. Does this bop me? Like, cause, cause we're gonna have the the molten glass drop off inside, right? We could use that as a heat source, but will that jump up the temperature too high? That's a great question. We might want to cut the pipelines here again. Honestly, I'm thinking about it. And then we could put the glass forge here and have it drip right on top of us. That could work. That literally works pretty well. I think I would want it closer to here, though. So I could put it here because I want to use this for the power outlet. So I can't put a building on that. And then I probably have this. This doesn't overheat, right? Nice. Here, here, here. And I would need that because I would want the huge power consumers right here to be on the mega line anyways. And then I would have to have this. And this should drip on the vent. And then I would probably want to replace the tile. But a metal tile so that it's more conductive disperses thermal energy a little bit better and then of course i would probably want to double up like this drip the water directly on top of that i think that's going to be okay if i really wanted to i could make two of these drip out water just to increase the amount of cooling on that tile. I actually don't mind that. We'll do two. We'll do two. And then I think we might have these drip 
over like straight down but through a mesh tile to a different level so that we uh spread out the cooling but for now i think this is not bad Let's speed that up oh that is wrong that needs to be built out of ceramic Because if you don't, that's going to break. Everything's got to be steel if it overheats, or ceramic if it overheats. And then we still have this right there. Call these submissions. Once we're ready to vacuum this, we'll do it. But right now, I think this is not bad. Still rock crushing. Belfit Joe? If you guys are just tuning in, if you guys didn't know, I finished my housing. So we have our modular house. And it's pretty nice, man. We gotta get a decorator to start decorating the inside. But it's a pretty nice setup. They get two rooms. They get the bedroom and the washroom. So it's basically a private bedroom. You get the master bath, master bed. You get an oxifer to take care of the carbon dioxide. And then we have oxygen coming in as well. And then we have private bedrooms. No, it's not a mod. There is a way to build these and deconstruct the engine and the rocket platform. And they just stand there. <laughs> so you still get the input and outputs. So I'm putting oxygen inside and clean water for the bathrooms. And then I'm using them as houses. So you could see that we have flower pots right outside. <laughs> we got the housing done, man. We got the housing done. It's honestly pretty nice, man. I'm happy with the outcome. Now, here's the problem with this. Each one of these counts as an individual rocket. And the game itself has a rocket limit of 16. So I'm only able to build 12 of these because I need to use four of them just to beat the game. So, yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit weird like that, but yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. I, I would want to rename the Rockets, man. Because I can't navigate through this. I have no idea what's what. They got random Roman numerals, dude. We got Mars, Saturn, Venus. The Venus, and then Mars, Saturn. Makes no sense sometimes. This guy gets a prefix of the. I don't even know, man. That'd be pretty good, though. Oh, the Rocket section. Dude, that's genius. Yeah, it's, it's really cool, man. You get so much space because you go from 5x4 into 10x8 inside 10 by 8. Now the problem though is that you, you have to deal with the radiation. So even though you're underground, there's radiation shining in. So that's why we have plastic tiles up here still. That's the best tile to combat that. But yeah. It's uh it was a great idea. I thought it was pretty cool. And then we're eventually going to get a rec room in the bottom right. But I think this is looking pretty good, man. Our living area is looking nice. Arbor trees. We had to pop up some more. And then from there, we probably want to upgrade from meal lice. And that's the truth. You got to upgrade from meal lice, dude. We have a million calories of that. So I'm probably going to transition to a different food type soon. Oh, do I want to start getting uh, sleet weed farms? That's probably my next thing to build. Sleet weed farms. So that I could build uh, sleet weed and bristleberry. Because I want the berry sludge. That stuff is delicious. So I'll probably want to set that up soon. Let's mop up the waters for now. And no one is data bank collecting, so no one's going to die. That's nice. Oh, the oxygen is pressurizing again. We got to open the doors. Holy crap. See, the bottom's not getting pressurized. Only the top. 3K, dude. Holy crap. That's some popped eardrums right there. We're just going to let it leak out. It is what it is. And then I need to start setting up something for the straggling polluted oxygen. I need to do something about that. 
So we'll decon these two tiles. These three. It's not going to matter. Build that decon, decon mine. Sweep everything up here. All right. Not bad, not bad. We get that one done. Nice. All right. Last arbitrary. So we will make some arbitraries because um, we don't have enough wood. Lumber is an issue right now. We're constantly out. But we want to harvest that. Nice. Get the last plant. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. So we got to do something with the pea dirt, which I don't mind. We're trying to chill it. I need to add another button press. All right, all right. So the next thing I probably want to do is we're going to set this up. And then I probably want to set up sleet wheat farms and berry, uh, bristle berries. More trees, because I need that for a power source. We're generating very little oil, and I'm going to need this to actually put into here as a fuel source. So because of that, I might actually have to go to the other planet toid right here. And uh, yeah, grab the oil well oil that's at the bottom. And there's a oil reservoir here. The heat is being contained. I'm happy with that decision. All right, so inside here, is there anything else that I would want? Oh, the kiln. Probably just have that right here. Well, here makes a lot of sense because it's closer. Doesn't generate too much heat. Yeah. And then... You don't really use a sludge press inside because the it's going to boil the water. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Glass forge we have. Oil refinery, no, because it overpressurizes itself. That's pretty bad. Oxalite could work a lot of heat as well but i would have to use that we could also put the buildings like the water sieve and the uh the salinator in there but it doesn't make sense probably want to move the rock crusher though uh no overheat nice does this overheat it does ah oh, man i have to make that out of steel feels bad man so that's going to be that. So our processing is going to be on these two floors. And then we'll have our batteries and transformers on this floor. Then what's going to be at the bottom? Feels bad. Nothing. What else would you have inside? Because you want to move a lot of your heat generators, right? Oh, yeah. The Rad Bolt generators, technically. Generates a lot of heat. The problem with that, though, is that the more steam per tile, the more rad bolts get decayed, right? Oh, no, not to get decayed. The less rad bolts the generators absorb because the steam blocks a percentage due to how much per tile in volume. Or is it mass? Feels bad. Either way, that kind of sucks. Are you planning to connect those steam turbines to the main heavy water? Uh, blah, heavy water. The main heavy watt power spine? Yes. Eventually, these are all going to connect to the bottom. But I'm probably going to have that connect from the outside. I'm actually not sure how I want that to connect. I might have to do some shenanigans for that. Oh, that's genius. Oh, that's genius. I got to do this. All right, we got to move this. We got to move it. And then I got to move everything up top. So there's an issue with connecting the power from the steam turbine back into this power spine. And the issue with that is if I have a heavy watt joint plate here, the heat from the bottom is going to leak to the top, immediately shutting off all the steam turbines. <laughs> I, I guess the next thing we'll have in here are like aqua tuners, probably. So I need to move all the steam turbines 
over. This doesn't need to be a liquid lock. That's honestly true. I actually don't need this to be a liquid lock. So I got to remove both of these tiles. We'll leave that one there for now. And then I got to move this one, two. Now that fits perfectly. Exactly what I was thinking, but I knew that steam would, uh, the heat would leak. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have an idea. So for this to work properly, we need to have a vacuum tile right here. Or right here. It doesn't really matter where. This doesn't absorb a lot of heat, but that's fine. I could make the vacuum right here. So, of course, it would work like that. And then that. Is that what I need? It's like this. We have a tile underneath. And then since this is water, there's no gas there. And then what I would need to do is... Technically, I would want two tiles like that. I could also drip... Oh, that works faster. So we do this, like that, temporarily. And then I know this tile, this tile, and then this tile needs to be built. All right. Now I need the conductive joint plate to be built. Please don't miss the corner. Nice. Good stuff, Tenet. Alright. So, that's good. I need this to be built. So, max priority. Nice. Where'd that iron come from, I don't know. Alright, so, slowly, we're gonna go for one bubble. Alright. Alright. So by doing that, both of these are liquid tiles now. So I could actually go in and do a easy tile build out right here. So I want a tile here and a tile here. That's the next two tiles, I believe. Brine is heavier than water, that's fine. And then I actually, well, I will wait so that I don't have to wait for that to be a weird setup. So I gotta wait for that tile to be built next. Come on, you supply it, but you don't build it? Dude, what a guy. I thought you were a homie, dude. There he is. All right, so I go like this now. And what should happen is the water spawns, oxygen gets pushed away. As it spills, it creates a vacuum. No, it didn't do it on that tile. That's fine. So that's what I need to delete for now. Now we deconstruct that. And the genius of that is there is a water drop on this tile now. Which means I could deconstruct this tile and still maintain the vacuum. Now, once this is gone, I could deconstruct this tile and this tile. We could deconstruct from the corner and deconstruct this from the top. And this allows me to maintain the vacuum here. And 
we get that at the bottom. All right. So now that that's like that, I should be able to do this. Because I can't delete the bottom tile without having one of the water elements gets pushed up to that tile. So I have to build this tile first. This allows me to maintain a vacuum for the initial build without having to do any shenanigans. And then we can allow this to empty, rebuild, and then maintain the vacuum. Come on, man. Someone got me. Okay, no pipelines in the way. Now, it's probably best for me to not wait for it to spill because there's always going to be water on the tile. So I think we're going to crush it. Yes, it's buildable. Let's go. So you could build from the bottom right hand corner. Uglarvisk, the savior. Oh, he went to sleep. Come on, man. Feels bad. <laughs> Feels bad. The man went to sleep. We'll take the Mert Seed. Oh, we have a lot of those. <gasps> no, that's not it. Researching rocketry. That's the setup I'm looking for. Sorry about these guys, man. So by doing that, we crush both liquids. And then I could delete this, delete that. We don't need water in here anymore, so we're going to delete that and this so that we could sweep the items a little bit easier. And then I do want to sweep this tile. Alright, so this is a vacuum. Everything drops into that tile, which is perfect. And then I get my watt plate on this tile. There's water here. Oh, I got to keep the water there. That's right. That's fine. And then once we have that, I gotta connect this. And we gotta make that max priority. And then we have it in a vacuum. Since it's in a vacuum, it's gonna have the same setup as over here. Where there's heat, but there's no heat transfer because they're in a vacuum. So none of the heat could leak in, none of the heat could leak out. That way we conserve the heat. Kind of the same reason why we have the liquid locks with a vacuum tile in the middle. So none of the heat from here leaks out. All of the heat over here was from the uh, polluted water we piped out or the crude oil. Funny enough, it's not a lot of heat. And I do need to sweep that. That last one had rocketry, quick learner, but no research. Yeah, man, I want the research. It makes managing the morale a lot easier later on. Oh, this is done. Okay, so technically all I have to do is put a tile here now. And then this is decon, this is decon. Because this heavy watt joint plate is a solid tile. So it shouldn't allow gas through, right? So the top's a vacuum, perfect. And the items drop down, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Nice, and we have a easy vacuum setup. So with that, I can remove that and mop up the brine. And that brine tile right there. Nice, so now we have an easy heat transfer, or a power transfer. Nice. These never need automation, it's just gonna be rolling. And then the water will empty, but the brine water will sweep. Not bad. It's coming together. The last thing we need are just a couple of aqua tuners to kind of set this up. I'm not it's nice. Not sure I have seen it done that way before. Hey, yo, man, you got to MacGyver it sometimes, you know. You got to tap into your inner MacGyver and randomly set up a way to actually make it work i was just trying to make it a way without deconstructing a lot of stuff 
and like creating a liquid lock, walk in, build everything, and then, you know, deconstruct everything. I was like, dude, that's a hassle. <laughs> I was trying to figure out a way if it was possible. Looks like we did it though. Everything worked out. I will say though, I was winging it like 60% of the time. <laughs> I really was. I was winging it, man. That was tough. Oh, this is clean now. Nice. Any crazy automation you did ever? Uh, what falls into crazy? I don't think I have anything too intricate on my current setup. So let's look at the automation overview. The craziest design has to be my automatic aqua tuner setup. This might be the most intricate thing we have now, but even this isn't that intricate. This is pretty simple, to be honest. This is more advanced, but I don't think this is considered complex. This would probably be it. So basically what we have here is an aqua tuner, and we set it up so that if it gets the water gets too hot, we allow it to get dumped via a trap door. And then the benefit is the bottom, you could see, we have a vacuum on the setup. So that means the temperature on the top and the temperature on the bottom of these two containers are separate. Meaning that if I have hot water and I dump it to the bottom, I could funnel in cold water that comes in from here that's at 13 degrees. And we would heat that up again by having the aqua tuner turn on. Now, because of how that works, the insulated tiles, you know, help stop the heat transfer, but it's really the vacuum. The vacuum properties is probably the biggest thing. But yeah, this might be it. Don't know if this is what you're looking for, Addy Rocks. How heat isn't leaking into your mess hall from the food storage? Same thing, X-Cage. I am a pioneer in the uh, one tile food storage system. And I like to utilize what's known as a vacuum. If you didn't know, items in a vacuum have no heat transfer. If you use a gas in your one towel food storage, I'm sorry, you're doing it wrong. And whoever video you watched, I feel sorry that you're watching them because that's a bad solution. It made no sense to me why you would ever use chlorine aside from not knowing how to get a vacuum here consistently and still have a liquid drop tile. Because the thing is, is that if you have anything here, you're going to transfer the heat from your cold tile to the gas to your liquid. And a lot of the times that's going to cause a lot of issues. Of course, is that means that your aqua tuner is going to have to work a lot harder because you're chilling your entire base instead of just one tile. So what I do instead is I have it in a vacuum. Since it's in the vacuum and there's heat transfer properties for food sitting on top of a metal tile, that that's all you need. We could watch the temperature slowly drop. This is 16 kilograms though, so this is pretty heavy. The smaller the mass, the faster it freezes. But I haven't had food rot yet, as if food rots, it breaks my vacuum, right? So no food has rot yet, so I'm doing pretty okay. At least for right now. People used to use chlorine with the temp of foods, didn't matter, and now you didn't need to. Now you have this, you just use the low temps to kill the germs anyway. Yep, yep. Well, it depends. Sometimes you might not have ethanol to hit minus 75. Because <laughs> I'm lucky I have ethanol. This allows me to go to very low temperatures, which is pretty convenient. So this is just my freezer setup. I could show you how it works, though. So let's say that it's at 39. Let's go for 35. Now we go back to above. So that closes. And then we have a vacuum again. We pump out this water into our electrolyzers. I am using the auto grabber via diagonal space and tiles. Ah. See, the problem with that is 
you have to grab that out and you have to constantly balance that i feel like that that used to be strats when you didn't have to use the auto grabber but now that dupes can't grab from a diagonal tile i think this is a lot better since the dupes could grab the food when they need it there's no chance of spoiling right and because of how dupes are in the game they will eat the freshest food first with the highest morale value so if you have things tied at the morale value they'll eat the fresher item first always so it's like if you had old barbecue and new barbecue your old barbecue is going to eventually rot because the dupes are going to be like, oh, you just refilled it with some fresh stuff. So I'm going to eat that instead. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I, I would say this is this is better. But of course, you're free to use the build you would like to choose. I'm not one to uh, tell you that you have to do it. I will say that it's more beneficial, though. Dark Matter Synthesis. Hello, hello. Hel okay, I have to stop lurking for a second. Nothing too complicated here. Oh, my dog. I only just got around to playing Oni, and this scares the hell out of me. Dude, don't worry, man. I have way too many hours in this game. If you want to check it out, too, I have a YouTube channel, if you want to check it out, with a lot of Oni content. And I don't consider this too intricate, because this is literally just mapping out my thought process. So I wanted two triggers, uh, if it's hot enough and if water's up to this tile, and then both of these control basically the entire setup. And then all we have to set up is a timing situation where, yes, I have this uh, set up on YouTube. This is called the No Steel, No Plastic Aqua Tuner video. This is one of, more, one of my more popular builds because you could build this with gold amalgam and literally be okay. You will not need steel or plastic. You could also use no gold at all because the Aqua Tuner baseline value is 125. The only thing that's kind of an issue is you can't have a high value for your liquid pump. So instead of setting something like, you know, uh, usually it's 70 degrees, you might want to have it closer to like 60. Do you have videos that ease me into this? I do. I have a lot of things like basics, talking about how to set up your basic setup, how to set up your first bathroom loop. Like a closed loop bathroom loop is a very simple design. And you would probably want to do this because you want to have your bathroom not have to be constantly piped in with fresh water. And then we talk about the intricacies of this. Like uh, you're going to generate more water because of the polluted water used on a lavatory is 5 kilograms. However, you generate 11.7. So yes, we have a lot of stuff on the YouTubes. From basics to intricate concepts and designs. We also have how-to videos, step-by-step -step how to build something, and I explain everything along the way. We also have updates with the patches. Uh, if you need to learn more about certain critters, I have some videos out, like the Grub Grubs and the Sweetles, and other designs as well, like the best Draco Ranch design that I designed. But yeah, I would say that, check it out. We have a lot of different levels for every type of player. If you're new, we have a basics category. If you are looking for specific topics i actually have playlists for almost everything going over the things dealing with the duplicates like morale movement digging uh farming critter ranching we have a playlist for power generation we have a playlist for all the different types of research we have a playlist for rocketry how to start navigating your rockets everything you need to know to get started uh i have a lot of topics i think i have like 200 videos out right now so dude Go in and look for the topic you need to, uh, you know, look up. Do you know how many hours you have on this? I'm curious. I always see that you're streaming at much respect. Hey, I see you over there, iBuzzly. 2,200. How does Addy Rocks know? Addy Rocks, how do you know I have 2,200 hours? Are you on my Steam's friends list? And you're checking out my playtime? I see you over there. I don't watch the stuff on the YouTube, but I saw you compressed Ocean video on Reddit, and it was so good. Oh, yeah. I have some meme. Uh, I'm planning on doing, like, meme videos and things for, like, pure entertainment. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be in that category. I have some shorts, too. Like, there's a clip where I have a Pip, the baby, immediately hugs an egg. And then after he gets hugged by the egg, a dupe runs by and hugs the Pip. Things like that. <laughs> I have a lot. Of, I, I want to cover a lot of topics on the Oni if possible. Bought Oni about a week ago. Don't even have bathrooms yet. You're, you're going to love it, man. If you take your time to enjoy the game, the game has a lot to offer. 
and it's great. I don't know. I will say that the learning curve is pretty steep though, so if you get frustrated, don't be scared to ask any of us for help. There's also a Discord that I run. If you want, come in chat, talk to me about any of the things you might have questions about. You always DM me if you're too scared to post on the Oni channel. But yeah, if you need help, I'm happy to help. And the first thing I would recommend is have fun and go at your own pace. If you don't, uh, you know, want to see spoilers or see the best build or things like that, that's perfectly fine. Just have fun. And if you get frustrated because you don't understand certain mechanics or if something's happening that you don't know why it's happening, we could tell you exactly why because of the experience we have. And the reason why I say that is because although Oni is a great game, it does a very poor job explaining what you did wrong. So if you do something, your colony collapses, like you run out of oxygen or you start starving to death or, you know, things like that happens. I would say that when you do fail, Oni doesn't tell you what you did wrong. So you tend to make the same mistake over and over again. So a lot of the times if you run into an issue and the solution you run into or that the solution you think about that should work doesn't actually work. You could ask us and we'd be happy to explain what it is that's happening. Because there's a lot of things that aren't intuitive, if that makes sense. That I wish they put a tooltip on. Things like pipe breakage, right? Like when a pipe breaks because you release steam into a liquid pipe and it immediately cracks all the way. And you're going, oh no, my pipeline broke because it overheated probably. Because that's what happens when buildings overheat. They start to take damage. What you don't realize is, is that the pipes don't have an overheat. And what's happening is something completely different, unrelated. And unless you knew that from the get-go or someone explained it to you, you probably wouldn't know. Just 92 days? God damn it, man. That's a lot of days. I'm on your list. I see Addy Rocks. Gotta respect it. Hey, man. Gotta play the Onis. It's, it's a fun game, man. You can't complain. But yeah. Because of that, I would say, dude, play until you have fun. Well, play until you have play, have fun. And if you need help, we'll hear for you. Also, there's the YouTube videos. I have like 300 something I haven't played, but it's still my favorite. I see a buzzling. Half the posts I see on Oni is like, why is in my pipe working? And they mix input output. Yep, 100% of the time. I see that. It's pretty funny. Dude, there's so many times I want to just post on the Oni subreddit. Dude. You guys need to watch my videos. <laughs> you just put a playlist on my tutorials. I was like, come on, man. You guys need to stop running into these pipeline issues. 1200, that's respectable right there, man. Four digit club. Gotta be in the four digits, man. All right, we are going to wrap up stream in like 15 minutes, I think. So I'm not gonna send someone onto the rocket right now. But if you guys have any questions in chat, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to help. First time I saw a Sweetle move up and down, it creeped me out. Dude, that's the thing I love about the Sweetles. I love when the Sweetles and the Grub Grubs... I love it when they do the Extendo Magic, dude. I think it's great. I see you, Buzzly. I see you over there. Hey, man. It's, it's been a long... It's been over seven hours today. <laughs> Dude, I love this, man. I love it when these guys walk around and do the extendo go-go gadget legs. Th this is like the favorite... My favorite thing about the DLC. I'm not even kidding. This feature, they could climb up and down like that. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's my favorite part. I wanted to go watch the VOD of this when the base started, but I think it's too far back. <laughs> uh, of this base, I think it's like 15 parts of around 100 hours, or 100 hours, 100 minutes each video. And it's about 15 parts. So you can take your time on that if you really want to watch and catch it from the beginning. I saw the legs and I was like, oh my god, hey man, the legs are cool. The legs are cool, dude. The legs are awesome. Alright, so we got our vacuum here, right? Oh, my kitty cat needs me. You guys, have you guys met Mamba?
That's him. The babies. This kitty cat loves licking people. But he's also scared of people. So he's a weird kitty cat. Let me see if I could expand this a little bit more. Yo, man, I got my Nikes. Mamba in his full glory. I hear you, babies. It's not licking, it's either tasting or tenderizing. No, my cat licks people to show affection. <laughs> my cat licks people to show affection. That, that's, that's how he gets your attention. He'll lick you. He'll meow, and then if he's fond of you, he'll walk up to you and lick you. But he, he, he will lick you non-stop. There's sometimes I'll lay down and Mamba will be around my head area and he's just licking my head all day. <laughs> he will do that, man. He loves giving you kisses like that. Mamba stand? Oh, look at Mamba standing up. Good kitty cat. How do you still have skin? Well, he's, he's licking my hair and it doesn't hurt that bad. But yeah, when he licks you, it's it's very uh, sandpaper-like. He does lick my face, too. That's only when he's trying to get my attention, though. I see you, babies. Exfoliating you. Dude, he loves grooming me, man. Oh, he wants his belly rubs. Alright, no belly rubs. I'm sorry, babies. No belly rubs. He just winked at me. He's, he was messing around. He loves it when I scratch his back. That's the hard to reach spot that the kitties can't reach. Feels bad. <laughs> but that's the Mamba. He wants his head rubs. Sadly, though, we cannot give him his head rubs just yet. And of course, any other questions? Anyone in chat? Anything to ask? If not, man, it's going to be time for me to wrap things up pretty soon. I hear you, Mamba. I hear you. I hear you. It's been a great... How long was it today? Up time! We got the 7 hours, 23 minutes. That's not bad. Yeah, those eyes say, please spend time with me. Yeah, he wants my attention. He really does. I gotta give him his head rubs. Yeah, the new kitten doesn't want to be touched until I'm playing games. Then she won't leave my feet alone. Yeah. You said this playthrough is on YouTube? Yes, I have this playthrough on a playlist. This playthrough is called Green Mamba, as you can see right here. I have another playthrough that I've already started and completed that is a all achievement playthrough. So the all achievement playthrough, if you want to check that out, it's called All Mamba. And I have another playthrough that I didn't finish. Well, I finished it, but I didn't want to upload the VODs because I was doing something else with it. And that one is called Geo Mamba. So there's a playlist to watch the videos if you want to check those out. Have a good rest of your night. Thank you, Deconverse. Hope you have a great night as well. Belfit Joe, you know what that is? You know the saying, uh, kitty cats? They... The only way you win them over is if you ignore them. And the reason why is because the kitty cats, they have to be comfortable. And a lot of the times when you're playing video games, you're not giving them attention. So they think they could just, you know, do whatever they want. And, th and that's really what it is, right? They don't know the feet is part of your body. Like, I have the uh, fishing fishing toy. That it's like a, it's a stick with a string on it. And at the end of the stick is a fish. I swing that around in front of Mamba. And he chases after it. However, there's sometimes he realizes that I'm swinging it with my arm. And he just stops chasing it. <laughs> it's like he gets a sudden realization. I thought, I thought that was a fish. 
Has this always been a lie? And giving me that look on his face like, oh, how did, how did you do this to me? <laughs> and it's like, yeah, it feels bad, man. And then, you know, a couple minutes later, he'll forget about it. And it'll just chase after the fish again. That's what makes the laser pointer work so well. It does. It does. It's never actually attached to you. See, the problem with that is at some point they touch the laser pointer spot and the dot is on top of their paw. And then at that point, they either double down hand on hand or they get really confused. Like, wait, I put my hand on top. How's that on top of my hand? <laughs> and sometimes they just go like, okay, I, I can't catch this. Man. Holy crap. All right, my dupes are idle. I need to sweep something. Is there... Oh, yeah, right here. Nice. It's never actually attached. That's a good point, though. But the cat sometimes just get that realization. I was getting toyed with this entire time. Feels bad, man. Confused until, my, uh, until it moves again for my cat. And it's right back. The chase is on, dude. They say it's the uh, color of the light, man. The red color. The cats are like bulls. Will chase anything red, as so they speak. Oh, I don't have lime storage. Is this not considered? Oh, right there. Nice. Okay, check out the vids. Thanks, gotcha, gotcha. But hey, Dark Matter, hope you have a good one. And yo, guys, great stream, good night. Take care, Papa Norse. It's going to be time for me to wrap things up for the night. So thank you guys for being here today. Thank you guys for hanging out. We got to get the save in. And we're good.